from the branching perspective, you mentioned regrets. Uh, do you have regrets about your own trajectory? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, some of it's painful, but you want to hear the painful stuff? Um, <laughs> I would say, like, in terms of working with people, when people did say stuff I didn't like, especially if it was a bit nefarious, I took it personally, and I also felt it was personal about them. Hmm. But a lot of times, like, humans are, you know, most humans are a mess, right? And then they act out and they do stuff. And I, this psychologist I heard a long time ago said, you tend to think, somebody does something to you. Mm -hmm. But really what they're doing is they're doing what they're doing while they're in front of you. It's not that much about you. Yeah. Right. And as I got more interested in, you know, when I work with people, I think about them and I'll probably analyze them and understand them a little bit. And then when they do stuff, I'm way less surprised and I'm way, you know, and if it's bad, I'm way less hurt and I react way less. Like I sort of expect everybody's got their shit. Yeah, and it's not about you it's as much. It's not about me that much. It's like, you know, you know, you do something and you think you're embarrassed, but nobody cares. Like, and somebody's really mad at you, the odds of it being about you, yeah. no, they're getting mad the way they're doing that because of some pattern they learned. And, you know, and maybe you can help them if you care enough about it. But, or you could step, you could see it coming and step out of the way. Like, like I wish I was way better at that. I, I'm a bit of a hothead. And in you some regret parts, that you said with Steve that was a feature, not a bug. Yeah, well, he was using it as the counter for the uh, orderliness that would crush his work. Well, you were doing the same. Yeah, maybe I don't think I, I don't think my uh, my vision was big enough. It was more like I just got pissed off and and did stuff. <laughs> I'm sure that's what Steve. Yeah, you're yeah. You're, you're telling. I, you're, you're I don't know if it had the. It, it didn't have the amazing effect of creating a trillion dollar company. It was more like I just got pissed off and left and or made enemies that he shouldn't have and yeah it's, it's hard like i didn't really understand politics until i worked at apple where you know steve was a master player of politics and his staff had to be or they wouldn't survive him and it was definitely part of the culture and then i've been in companies where they say it's political but it's all you know fun and games compared to apple and it's not that the, the people at apple are bad people it's just they operated politically at a, at a higher level you know, it's not like, oh, somebody said something bad about somebody somebody else, which is most politics. It's, you know, they they had strategies about accomplishing their goals, sometimes, you know, over the dead bodies of their enemies. You know, <laughs> with sophistication. And, yeah, more Game of Thrones with sophistication <laughs> and like a big time factor rather than a, you know. Wow, that requires a lot of control over your emotions, I think, uh, to, to, yeah. to, to have a bigger strategy in the way you behave. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's effective in the sense that coordinating thousands of people to do really hard things where many of the people in there don't understand themselves, much less how they're participating, yeah. creates all kinds of, you know, drama and problems that, you know, our solution is political in nature. Like, how do you convince people? How do you leverage them? How do you motivate them? How do you get rid of them? How do you, you know, like there's, there's so many layers of that that are interesting. And even though some, some of it, let's say, may be tough, mm -hmm. it's not uh, evil. Unless, you know, you use that skill to evil purposes, which some people obviously do, but but it's a skill set that operates, you know, and I wish I'd, you know, I was interested in it, but I, you know, it was sort of like, I'm an engineer, I do my thing. And, you know, there's, there's times when I could have had a way bigger impact if I, you know, knew how to, if I paid more attention and knew more about that. Yeah, about the human layer of the stack. The, the, yeah, that the human political power, you know, expression layer of the stack, which is complicated. And there's lots to know about it. I mean, people are good at it, they're just amazing. And when they're good at it, and let's say, relatively kind and oriented in a good direction, you can really feel, you can get lots of stuff done and coordinate things that you never thought possible. But, all people like that also have some pretty hard edges because, you know, it's, it's a heavy lift. And I wish I'd spent more time like that when I was younger. But, but maybe I wasn't ready. You know, I was a wide-eyed kid for 30 years. Still a bit of a kid. Yeah, I know. What do you hope your legacy is when there's a, 
And there's a book, like a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And there's a, like a and one sentence entry about Jim mm-hmm. Miller from like that guy lived at some point. There's not many, you know, not many people would be remembered. Uh, you're one of the sparkling little human creatures mm-hmm. that had a big impact on the world. How do you hope you'll be remembered? Um, my daughter was trying to get, uh, she edited my Wikipedia page to say that I was a legend and a guru. <laughs> But they took it out, so she put it back in. She's fifteen. <laughs> I think I think that was probably the best part of my legacy. <laughs> she got her sister, and they were all excited. They were like trying to put it in the references because there's articles in that in the title. Calling you that. So, so in the eyes of your kids, you're a uh, legend. <laughs> well, they're pretty skeptical because they know be better than that. They're like dad. So yeah, that's that's super, that kind of stuff is super fun in terms of the big legend stuff. I don't care. They don't care. Legacy, I don't, I don't really care. You're just an engineer. Yeah. They I've been thinking about stuff. building a big pyramid. So I had a debate with a friend about whether pyramids are, or craters are cooler. And he realized that there's craters everywhere, but you know, they built a couple of pyramids 5,000 years ago. And, and they remember still, you for a we're while. We're still talking about it. So I think that would be cool. <laughs> uh, those aren't easy to build. Oh, I know. And they don't actually know how they built them, which is great. Uh, it's either uh, AGI or aliens could be involved. So I think I think you're going to have to figure out quite a few more things than just uh, the basics of civil engineering. So I guess you hope your legacy is pyramids. That would that would be cool. <laughs> and my Wikipedia page, you know, getting updated by my daughter periodically. Like those two things would pretty much make it. Jim, it's a huge honor talking to you again. I hope we talk many more times in the future. I can't wait to see what you do with Tense Torrent. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait for you to revolutionize yet another space in computing. It's a huge honor to talk to you. Thanks for talking today. This was fun.